there welcome back to hands of asses remember when we learned about the multiplication tables now let's jog our memory a little bit and list down the multiplication table of let's say 8 so how does it goes it goes like 8 ones are 8 8 twos are 16 8 threes are 24 8 fours are 32 8 fives are 40 and so on shall we stop till 8 tens are 80 that's it or can we continue it more we can continue it more further isn't it we can also write 8 elevens are 88 H twelves are ninety six, and then we can also take eight times hundred as eight hundred, and so on. So the multiplication table is never ending, right? Now, my dear, I want you to think about this question. Whenever you write a multiplication table, so what is this product known as? Not only this, but also some more numbers if you multiply with eight. So what is the product obtained known as? For example, let's pick the number eighty eight. So what is this 88 for 8? What is 800 for 8? So these products that we have obtained by multiplying 8 with any other number, these are known as multiples of 8. Because 8 is multiplied by some number and we have got the result so there. So that result is the multiple of 8 and the number it is multiplied by. So here 240 is a multiple of 8 and is also a multiple of 30. Now there must be a lot of questions in your mind, isn't it? Like, ma'am, why are we learning multiples? What is the use in our daily life? But tell me, what are the properties of multiples? So, for that, we have to dive deeper into the concept called multiples. As we know that when we multiply two numbers, we get a result, and this product is the multiple of both of them. So, now can you define what is a multiple? The multiple of a number is the result when that number is multiplied to any other number. So therefore, here fifty-six is the multiple of seven, and fifty-six is also the multiple of eight. Because fifty-six comes in the table of seven, also comes in the table of eight as well, comes in the table of two as well. Fifty-six also comes in the table of four. So therefore, fifty-six is the multiple of all of these numbers. Now let's understand multiples with a question. So here the question is: Find first five multiples of seven. Only the first five, not any random multiple. Because let's say the question is asking write any five multiples of seven, then you can write any five multiples of seven. Let's say seven ones are seven. Seven times ten is seventy. Seven times hundred is seven hundred. Seven times one thousand is seven thousand. Right? You can write any five multiples like that. But the question over here is very specific. The question is write only the first five multiples, starting five multiples, and for that you have to write the multiplication table of seven. For example, seven ones are seven. Seven twos are fourteen. Seven threes are twenty-one. Seven fours are twenty-eight, and seven fives are thirty-five. So, my dear, here the first multiple of seven is seven. The second multiple of seven is fourteen. The third multiple of seven is twenty-one. The fourth multiple of seven is twenty-eight, and the fifth multiple of seven is thirty-five. And the tenth multiple of seven is seventy. The hundredth multiple of seven is seven hundred. The one thousandth multiple of Seven is seven thousand. Okay, so if I want to find out the twentieth multiple of seven, for that I will multiply seven by twenty. So this is going to be the twentieth multiple of seven, which is one hundred forty. And likewise, we find the multiples of a number. So here, the first five multiples of seven are seven, fourteen, twenty-one, twenty-eight, thirty-five. And that's it. So these are the first five multiples. Awesome. Now let's find out the first ten multiples of nine. So what are the first ten multiples of nine? For that we have to write the multiplication table of nine, and that's how we will get the first ten multiples of nine. So nine ones are nine. Nine twos are eighteen. Nine threes are twenty-seven. Nine fours are thirty-six. Nine fives are forty-five. Nine six. Are fifty four nine sevens are sixty three nine eights are seventy two nine nines are eighty one and nine tens are ninety. So these are the first ten multiples of nine. What if I ask you, tell me the fifth multiple of nine? So the fifth multiple of nine means nine times five, which is forty five. So therefore, the fifth multiple of nine is forty five. And of means multiply. Whenever we say of, of means multiply. Okay, so the fifth multiple of nine means five times nine. Five multiplied by nine, or nine multiplied by five. The answer will be forty-five. We have done two questions so far. What did you observe in these two questions? So tell me, what is the first multiple of every number? First multiple of seven is seven. First multiple of nine is nine. So does that mean the first multiple of every number is a number only? What do you think? The first multiple of ten is ten only. The first multiple of 
20 it's 20 only like so therefore the first multiple of a number is a number itself that means every number is a multiple of itself now this was the first observation there are a lot of observations tell me about the, all the other multiples are they greater than 9 or it is lesser than 9 it's either equal to 9 or more than 9 right 18 27 36 45 so there are a lot so all the multiples of 9 are either equal to 9 or greater than 9 18 than 9, 27 is greater than 9, 36 is greater than 9. In the previous question as well, the multiples of 7, 7, 14, 21, all of these numbers, all of these multiples are either equal to 7 or greater than 7. Right? So, this observation number 2 is every multiple of a given number is either equal to or greater than that number. Alright, and the last observation is that there are infinite number of multiples. Right? So, these are the three observations. First, the number is always a multiple of itself. The second observation, that all the other multiples are either equal to that number or greater than that number. And the next third observation is that there are infinite number of multiples. Alright, now let's summarize all of these three points that we have studied about and specifically the definition of multiple. That a multiple of a number is the result when that number is multiplied to some other number. Now you try to find out multiples of a few numbers. Meanwhile, I'm going to see in the next session and tell you where can you use these multiples in real life. So then, take care. See you. Have a happy learning.